Welcome back, peddlers, to video number three of my Clubs and Courses mini-series. In the previous video, I talked about why I think it's a great idea to join a club and do a beginner's course. It's a great way to get comfortable in a boat and get some basic techniques going. So you've signed up for a course, but how do you get the most out of it? Here are some of my tips and tricks. Let's dive in. So if you really want to get the most out of a course, do some research before you hit the water. Watch some instructional videos, read about the topic, and just get some general knowledge about it. And by all means, don't overdo it, but when you have some basic knowledge about kayaks and kayaking gear, it will get you started much, much faster. To put on some easy-fitting, non-cotton sports clothes. Synthetic clothes just dry faster, insulate better, and will keep you warmer on the water. And your clothes are gonna get dirty, so keep that in mind. And if you can, pick up a pair of water shoes. They're usually just a few bucks, but they are so much more comfortable and less bulky than sneakers. No matter what, bring dry clothes. Even if you don't go swimming, which will happen, of course not to you, but always to somebody else, right? You are 100% sure going to get wet. You'll most likely scoop some water into your cockpit or get splashed by somebody else, but you're going to get wet. And having some dry clothes with you just makes the drinks afterwards or the trip home so much more comfortable. Plus, bringing some spare dry clothes could really help someone out who forgot. A little extra tip I got. You most likely not pedal with a spray skirt, so what you could do is you could bring a towel and put it over your leg just so it can catch some of the water. So making conversation and getting to know each other a little just makes for a nicer, more open atmosphere. And creating such an environment will help people feel more comfortable to make mistakes and try new things, including yourself. And plus, it's really handy to know each other's names, right? Sounds logical, right? But you'd be surprised how many people keep their questions to themselves. I even catch myself doing it sometimes, not wanting to look stupid. But here's the thing, you're learning. And to learn, you need to ask questions. So if you have a question, just ask it. What's the worst that could happen? You get an answer? And remember, an instructor will never, ever mind you asking a question. Also, don't be afraid to ask other people questions. A lot of people that walk around at clubs are experienced and have a lot of knowledge. Use that knowledge to your advantage. Bear with me, but it's going to sound almost philosophical, but if you want to get the most out of a course, you need to get into the right mindset. You need to dare to fail and make mistakes. You need to fully and truly put yourself out there. And this means really trying and participating in all exercises and activities that you're going to do during the course, even if you think you're going to suck at it. And again, this sounds logical, but it's common behavior for people to sit back and watch other people go first, or wait their turn, or sit out an exercise just because they think they can't do it. But I say, be the first, go out there, make a fool out of yourself, because only if you challenge yourself, that's the way to get better. So stick around after class and reflect with your fellow students what went right, what went wrong, and how they've experienced the class. Most of the time, other peddlers will join the discussion and you get a super valuable conversation with insights and things to try for your next class. And as a bonus, you get to experience what it's like to hang out at a club night. As I said in my previous video, practice makes perfect, right? So if you get as hooked as I did after your course, keep up the good work and keep pedaling. Get the miles in and don't forget that every time you hit the water, you're getting better. And those are my tips and tricks for a kayaking beginner's course. Though most tips might even apply to any beginner's course. For my next video, I have something truly special. So hit that subscribe button and ring that bell if you don't want to miss it. And as always, like if you like, subscribe if you want to see more. And don't forget to pedal on.